All right, here is that other series RCL circuit that we talked about. And you'll notice, first off, that we changed the value of the inductor and the capacitor. So the inductor is now 105 millihenries, and the capacitor is 0.32 nanofarads. All right, now using those two new values, which of course are the determining factor of what is resonant frequency, um, we get 27.47 K hertz for our FO resonant frequency. Now using that number, we're going to figure out our ohmic values, and we see that inductive reactance is 18.11 K. And capacitive reactance, of course, is the same. Now, impedance is going to be resistance, right? Just like the previous one. So, impedance is 10k ohms. Now, if we do our current, we're going to end up with actually the same current because we didn't change voltage or resistance. And that is what the formula is. Voltage divided by impedance, which in this case is resistance. All right, and then we look at our voltages. We know already that R1 is 45 volts. Now, interesting thing is what's happening with the voltage on our capacitor and inductor. Because the two ohmic values cancel each other out, we end up with a higher current, which gives us fairly high voltages on both our capacitor and our inductor. You'll notice it's almost twice what incoming voltage is. This type of uh, circuit, voltage magnification, is used on amplifiers. So that is how you get um, some of those big sounds um, from a relatively small incoming voltage. All right, and then we'll just take a quick look at that voltage formula. I put it up there. We know, um, of course, that it is the same as impedance in that the inductor and the capacitor's values are canceling each other out. And then we're left with only the resistance. And if you square and square root it, you get the same number. So um, applied voltage is the voltage on your resistor in a resonant circuit. All right, and that is it. We may do another one on um, series RCL circuits. We might um, look at a fault, but um, we are probably going to move on to parallel first. So you might look to see a fault one later on.